talk about Jesus and the good things he's done. Flaming wide these gates, let's see his kingdom come. Hallelujah. So she's drunk in the spirit after just having been delivered of fear and uh, several other things, sexual, you know, sins and that kind of thing. And I know I got anointing down on the bottom of my leg, so hallelujah. Nothing surprises me. He's all power. He's all everything. Hallelujah. <laughs> So the voice said the son of man? The son of man. Well, that's Jesus. So Jesus... Let me say one more thing. We'll pray for him. Father, I pray, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Father God. Son of the Lord, I pray for him. Is this real, Lord God? I think you got your answer if he said it's the Son of Man. That's Jesus. Mm -hmm. But it seemed like he'd say Yeshua or Jesus. Why be free? Why am I here? Why am I here? Why am I here? Why am I here? Oh, wow. So Jesus is with you literally in the room, I think. What? <laughs> I'd get flat on my face and prostrate myself out on the floor and just say, praise you, Lord Jesus, praise you, thank you, I am not worthy, praise you, but thank you for saving me. Praise you, Lord God, thank you for saving me, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, for saving me, Lord God. You were everything we live for. You were everything we live for, Lord God. You were the key, man. It's like, yeah. Lord God, I am yours, Lord God. Lord your Jesus, I'm Lord. kissing your picture for Sherry on her behalf, because I got it right here, your Shroud of Turin picture. You are beautiful, and I'm kissing it for you, for Sherry, and telling you how beautiful you are. Of course, you probably already know that, but you are. <laughs> Uh, I can hear say one more time. He said, I am Jesus, son of man. Oh, wow. He said, I am Jesus, son of man. He said, I am he, the son of man. Wow. He's there, I am he, the son of man. He's there in your room with you? Yes. <laughs> 
Oh wow, you weren't able to touch him or see him, uh, able to touch. Do what? Yeah, he's probably healing you. You know, you're pretty beat up and downtrodden from your story. He loves the beat up and downtrodden. Yeah, praise. You just feel good all over like you're in the presence of greatness. Wow. Wow, Lord Jesus, you are king. You are just amazing, Lord Jesus. I wonder how many times you can come and visit me on my end, Lord Jesus. I just love it when you would come visit me. Father God, I pray, Lord God, that you would keep this, Lord God, that you would touch me, Lord God, and keep me in the Holy Spirit, Lord God. Say, you said, I will say, you said, Lord, that the Holy Spirit will glory you said, and he said, and he And Lord God, if this is the me, Lord God, I pray, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Father God. Father God, I pray in the name of Jesus, God, you're going to be made a difference, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. And let me interpret it, Lord God. Let me be able to interpret it, Lord God. And he keeps saying, walk in this, walk the streets and tell people my word. He keeps saying it to me. Well, then that's your commission, man. That's what he wants you to do. So make sure we write that down. Walk the streets and... I don't remember walking the streets. I guess he means... Uh, I had to give a prophetic word. Oh, he's giving you one? I'll write it down or I can record it. I got a recorder on if you if you want. Go ahead. He says... Father, I ask you, Lord God, to tell me what you need me to do, Lord God, you gave me a gift. He says, brought the streets to give a prophetic word to me, to nation, to nation, for you will speak. You <laughs> are many, you are thousands. Oh, wow. So <laughs> like I said to Molly, for the ones I love that need you, need you. All right, try to try to calm down so we make sure the recorder can hear you. But it sounds like to me you're being given a beautiful gift, which you probably already had, but you probably abused it or hadn't used it. But you're going to be able to now use it and give people a prophetic word out on the street. And he said he wants you to give your testimony, so he's probably going to do something really great with your life. And you're going into full time my head is on fire on my left hand. And he's not worried. He said, I'll heal many. He's probably healing you, Sherry, so don't worry. You're okay. He said, I'll heal many through him. She said, he said, you will heal many through him? Yes. Lord Jesus, you are so great. You are so awesome. Thank you for what you're doing. I wish uh, Demetrius could hear this. Boy, I hate that he's missing this, Lord Jesus, but... I'm recording it, so hopefully people will be able to hear it. So he's healing the Lord. I'll be in trouble, but don't worry. You'll be with her. What is that? Huh? Oh, I didn't hear the last thing you said. He said, my child will be in trouble, but don't worry, he's going to be with her. Who is he he's going to be with her to trust in him. Alright, say that one more time. Who's going to be with who? Oh, your, your little girl's going to get in trouble? Wow. 
Wow. When is she scheduled to have the back surgery? Wow. No, this is awesome. You want to talk about deliverance? Boy, I can't wait till I get you to write me it. Hallelujah. So you're, yeah, I'm having you repeat things so the recorder picks it up. So now you're saying your feet are on fire? Yeah, I think it's because I've been dealing with that. I don't know. Well, you, it sounds like you're being healed in places all over your body. This is just incredible. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You're, he's removing everything out of you. He's removing all this stuff. You're being completely delivered, uh, Sherry. You realize this, right? <laughs> Yeah, this is like incredible. This is miracle stuff. He literally has come down in the room. I mean, uh, hey, I know he does it, but uh, I don't think this is my first one, isn't it, Lord Jesus, where you actually came down in the room with the person? I know you've been in the room with me, but with other people, I don't know. It may, it may have been uh, not the first time, but he's amazing. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I love you. I love you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you for loving, sharing, and... Thank you, Lord God. It's really nice to work with, try so hard to help precious souls and see that you see them the same way, because you know I pray every day to see them like you see them. Ooh, my arms is hot. And sometimes I get frustrated with people, and I don't mean to, but I just want them to receive your power and receive your love. Man, if you are receiving something on that end, because normally they're attacking me and doing things on this end, trying to distract me, there ain't nothing going on over here. Oh, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Father God. Father Jesus, maybe, like, before, and I was in the Word of God, and I just got right, and he was just like, sit and raving, and I wanted to tell you this. I was in the Word of God for six months, all day long, for six hours a day. And I gave words to people who are going, God, let me see that way they're coming. Distraction. He let me see what weather was coming. He let me see where Hurricane Katrina hit. He let me see those things to tell people. <laughs> How long ago was this? This was like two years ago. You were in the Word six hours a day? Eight hours praying. Wow. For years, for, for six, seven months, right? And he told me he's just speaking and it'll be upon you like seven months. Prayers that I had demons, sexual demons, that try to rape me, one try to rape me, one try to molest me. That's what it was. They they try to come, they, they didn't want it. They didn't want me to have it. Satan didn't. And they come in my house, fraud in, and try to rape me. That's right. That's where the demons come in. Yeah. That's what they do. So what brought this up? Did Jesus mention it? He wanted to tell you about it. He wanted you to tell me about it? Yes. That that's how these got in this time? Yes. We may have to have you explain again when you're calmer. I have a real, I've had a real hard time understanding it, but it's okay. I don't want to you know, stress you out and have you repeat yourself. Oh, oh no. Man, 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 man. Lord Jesus, how many angels did you come down with? I know that might seem silly. i just kind of curious. How many angels do you come down with to see Sherry? 
Um, he may not answer. Ask him. Uh, uh, something said 8,000. Oh. Wow. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, I just worship him. How do you refer to me? 7,776. <laughs> 7,776? Yes. I'm surprised. And he makes, guess what? 7,777. The, uh -huh. the Lord's number, seven? Uh -huh. Okay, so with Yeshua, that'd be 77777. I just thought wow. that was neat. Yeah, get it now? Yes, that's, that's Jesus' so, so, number. Yeah, yeah 7,776 plus Yeshua makes 7,777. Wow, amazing, amazing. I've been studying my Bible. I'm just going to really study it because I know what God wants me to do. And I'm going to do it. <laughs> I'm going to go around. I'm going to study the Bible. I'm going to learn the Word, and I'm going to tell people about God, and I'm going to give them a Word, and then I'm going to learn the Bible in the Scriptures. Yeah, I tell you, I would love to uh, uh, hear, receive what you're receiving like that from uh, the Lord direct. But, you know, He has different plans for all of us, and some He makes us, uh, has us do different things. And I just pursue him you know he had about two years ago he showed me a bunch of things in the unseen world and i recorded hundreds of hours worth of angels and i think i got lord jesus's voice actually oh wow something just flashed on my end like a light just flashed in the air wow something right and yeah something because i am the son of my aunt as soon as he said that he said what I am the son of man. As soon as I said, uh, the light uh, just flashed? Yeah, you said that right before you said that, like like a second. Before you said that, a second before that. It said that I am the son of man. He sure is. He is my savior. He is. For my... I am with you. It's when you say, for I am with you. I am the son of man. Oh, wow. I wonder if, uh, Lord Jesus, the picture above my little altar where I worship you, uh, is that a picture look like you, Lord Jesus? Not from the Passion, but the one above, the, the computer-generated picture. No. He said no? No. Oh. He's dark skin. He what? He's dark skin. Is that what he he's said? He's not black. He's not black. He's very, very dark skinned. He said he's I'm... almost, he's almost, um, almost, I would say, almost the color of a very dark Indian. Well, I tell you what, Lord Jesus, it doesn't matter to me what color you are. I love you so much. I was just always curious if. Yeah, I got, so neither the one on the left or the right, if it was darker, Lord Jesus, would they look like you? Either one, left or right? The one on the left. Would look like, more like him if he was, if it was dark, a lot darker. Yes. Wow. Wow, I don't even know what to say. I feel like something in my chest, like I can't breathe. Um, wow, I'm afraid I'm going to start crying now. This is something. Lord Jesus, you are something. We just thank you for this. I don't even know what... It's come a long way, mate. You keep doing what God wants you to do, because... And don't, 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 don't get no sick at thought. Not second thoughts, but don't let nothing play with your mind. You just keep doing what you're doing because you're doing a great thing and God wants you to do this. He really does. Don't question it. This is what God wants you to do. You're going to to deliver a lot of people through Him. He's going to deliver, but you just keep on doing what you're doing. Is that what Jesus said to you? Yes. 
Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I wanted to hear that so bad. I just, I don't even know what to say to you. Yeah, because, uh, Oh, my God. What? Thank you for being blessed. Do what? Gosh, Sherry, I can't hear you, uh, sweetheart. You You're gonna that. be blessed sevenfold. Oh wow, I'm gonna be blessed sevenfold. 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 Yes. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I'm getting on my knees appropriately just in case he's near me. I don't want to be caught standing up in the presence. I want to be down low where I should be. Okay. I love you, Lord. You're going to be blessed sevenfold, and this is going to go a long way. You're going to come a long way. This is not it's starting out something little. This is going to come out something very huge, something big. But do not forget, do not forget about him. Hmm. You keep doing what you're doing. This is what God has told me. This is what I've just heard from him. This sins. God, you keep doing God. what you're doing. Jesus said that to you. Or Jesus said God just told him that. God just said that to me. It's already me. And I heard God say that. You're going to be blessed sevenfold. Until you're saying that to me. Yeah. For you to hear. And... You you got some some little troubles with going on with um you know I want to say you know someone kind of fussing at you about you know doing some things but you're not they're not getting much time but you just keep on doing what you're doing and God's gonna bless you. It's gotta be God talking to you. He's talking about my wife. I bet there's no way you could know all these things that you're talking about. Well, I pray, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, you'll give him a word, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, I have. The wife has brown hair. I have faith, absolute faith. It isn't a faith. I just want to make sure I deal with the enemy so much. I just want to make sure that me or you or Just nobody's... pray about it. Just pray about it. Yeah, I do. Just pray about it and I'll let you go, okay? Are you talking to me or are they talking to you now? No, I'm just saying I'm, I don't want you to be afraid. I don't I don't want to I I, I don't want you to be like thinking that, that there's something on me. You know what no. I'm saying? I just no no I just want you to know this is what God has told me. Oh no, I just being being always being careful, always asking, always uh, yeah. Jobs to protect uh, whatever he's given me to protect. You keep doing what you're doing. You keep doing what you're doing because you're going to get blessed. You and your family. No, you're going to get blessed. I mean, seven and it's going to it's going to be something big. It's going to be something great with your with your what you're doing. Wow. It's gonna go all over the nation, the nation, and it's gonna go everywhere. You listen to what I say. I'm telling you, this is what God is telling me. That it's gonna go a long way, and you keep doing what you're doing. The enemy wouldn't tell you to keep doing something for God. Father, I'll <laughs> never quit serving you. I hope you know that. I love you, my Lord Jesus, my Holy Spirit, my El Shaddai. I will never, ever, ever. I will always pour it on. You're all I have. You're all I want. You're everything. I don't want anything from the past. I want you. More you. More you. And I want to show people how great you are and how you can fill them up. And they don't need things from the past. They don't need things from the world. I just... Give me the ability to be effective, Father, in that. And showing people, like that poor soul yesterday, whatever his name was, and Sherry, bless your heart, you're over there talking and sending him to me, and he calls, and, ah, oh, I just, people like that. He said, he said that you have love, like, no, like, he said you have love in your heart so greatly. And I, that's just what God has taught me. Oh, wow. He just has so much love and compassion and all that. And 
and saying, I'm just so shook up because I mean, just God, I haven't heard God's voice in a long time. I haven't heard his voice in about two months. That's so interesting because that's the way that I am. Almost the world would say to a fault, I just can't hate. I can't I can't be mean to people. You can't see God God done this to you, mate. Because he delivered you. I know. And what it is is he has delivered you and when he delivered you, that was your mission. Because this is your testimony. That was what I was going to say to him. I was going to say, Papa, you're the one who made me that way. You're the one who made me that way. My heart is so soft compared to the way it used to be. It's like I'm a different person. I just wish my wife knew him the same way. I just want her to be to understand so bad. Not for selfish reasons. I want her to, to really understand it. That he's so amazing. Wow. I don't know why I just all the things so sore. Father, do you like Abba or Papa better? He likes you talking him Papa. Do what? He likes you to call him Papa for some reason. He likes Papa? Yes. He, he said that? Yes. Praise the Lord. He, he likes Papa for some reason. No, did he say for some reason? <laughs> no, I'm saying, I'm oh. saying for some reason. <laughs> I was calling him Abba. That's what I've always called him. And because uh, he's daddy. And then... Recently, I saw, uh, he just put it in my head. Gosh, he's brilliant. It's amazing. He knows everything. He knows I saw Dan. Uh, oh, you would love him. I got to introduce you to Dan and, and Todd. But anyway, uh, they're like street preachers, so you need to watch them. Um, that's, who I want. that's what God's calling me to do. Uh, Papa, do you want Sherry to kind of be like Todd was when he first started and went around healing people? Kinda like her, you know, but except she's Sherry. She's in her own individual, of course. Because you made her unique. Oh my god, he says I'm in golden childhood from heaven and I don't know what that means. Well, you were knitted from his we all came from him. All of us who are his children, we came from we're all his children, but we came from his spirit, so when your mother conceived you, he literally sent an angel down. And I got this from Pat Kerr, who's one of his children who goes to heaven and talks to Abba. Unless he says something differently, I believe she's telling the truth, and knits your spirit into that womb as soon as you were conceived. So you came from him. Now as far as the gilded child of gold, uh, you got a heck of a gift here. If, no reason to believe we're not talking to we were talking to Yeshua and then we're talking to Abba the Father this is quite a gift so I would suspect that's what he means gilded child of gold I don't know I don't think I have prophetic type gifts I think I have uh, Abba's given me a lot of gifts but I don't I don't think I, I think get... you were raised up Catholic do what? You was raised up Catholic? No, not at all. I'm married to Catholic. No. But now she's just Christian. I come from a long line of Methodist preachers. Okay. I come with Pentecostal upbringing. Well, bad this when I was a little girl, but my mom, she, she went to Pentecostal when I was 17 years old, so I know all about Pentecostal. So what did he say after he said you're a gilded child of gold? This is what he says, my child, my child, my child, I've told you once, I've told you twice, you are my, oh my God, man. he says, you are a child of God, I mean, a gold, my golden child of God, I'm sorry. Wow, that's pretty incredible. And I like to speak in um, Pastor, what's his name? 
And um, he has the gift of the prophecy. Who? Your friend, the one that prayed. Oh. He has prophecy. Yeah, Demetrius. Yeah, Abba spoke. He's a prophet. And I know a prophet from miles away. I can see him. They stand out. Yeah, he is. Uh, in fact, Abba gave me a dream about him this morning, verifying that his word is from him. Yeah. Did Abba just confirm that? Yes, he is. Oh, he wow. is a prophetess of God. He is a prophet yeah, you're of a prophet. God. You're a prophetess, I guess, right? Yes, I reckon. <laughs> yes, I am. I'm a prophetess. Do you think... Uh, you think the Lord is still with us, or has He lifted His spirit? Is He still with us? He is with us right now. Oh wow, uh, Papa, what's my gift? God, I ask you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, you gave me your deliverance today, Lord God. What is His gift, Lord God? Speak to me, Lord God. Your gift is exorcism. Do you say exhortation or exorcism? Ex exorcism. He used that word, huh? Exorcism. Wow. He does not like that. That is your gift. That's what he wants you to do. That's what he sets you out to do. Wow. To deliver these souls so they will get saved and go to heaven. Oh, that's wow. what he wants you to do. It's a very important, important, and very important thing for him. Through what you're doing. Yes, very sir. important. Well, you very, very important to him. He says that this is what I'm getting from God. He says, don't worry about this Holy Spirit right now. Just keep praying for it. But right now, this is what your this is what he has set out for you to do. There's different types of Holy Spirit, the spirits of faith. Um, different ones, speaking in terms of different ones, and he gave you this. And this is very important, and this is what he wants you to do. This is very important to him. Praise, very, praise the very Lord. Very important to him. Is he he, is he really? loves you for that. He loves you so, so much for that. He is smiling down from heaven for that, wow. for what you're doing. Oh, Lord, he is. He sounds really proud of me. Yay! He is very proud of you. Yay! I had my mama come see me one morning, I think a few weeks ago, and it's like just I was half asleep, still half awake, and it's just like she goes, You are so special to him. He loves you so much. And I don't know where it came from, just out of the blue. That's how you know sometimes you're getting a word, except it's from my mom, I think. And then she just went back on to paradise or wherever she was. But, um,. Yeah, it really. Oh, she's dead. She's dead and she did. Do what? Are your mama still alive? No, no. She passed in 98, February 98. Oh, her angel came. Well, let me tell you a story, Nate, and then I'm going to go. Okay? Mm -hmm. um, because I got to get off the phone in just a minute because my phone's going dead. But remember when I told you that I was in the prayer for six months and I stayed in prayer for like six, seven, eight hours a day? Yeah. And I must got right, and I fell alone, and I had nobody to go to, and my kids were with me at the time, and I was in a very bad neighborhood, and I was really, really, really bad part of the neighborhood, because I just got out of the wing shelter for women that has been abused, and the man tried to rape me, and I went to my sister's mama's, and the next day my sister told me I had to leave, but I couldn't stay there, so I had to go back home, and I was afraid, and I was hurt. And I was crying. And the Bible had it on my stomach. This little woman stared. I stood alone. And this little angel woman, black angel woman with a long silk gown on, she had a, a white silk gown. And I'm not lying, I promise to you, this lady was an angel and never seen her. She had long hair. She kept. Jesus. Help her, God. You know what she's going through, Lord. And God, give her a good, godly man. 
And when I wore the color, I felt so happy because of the bar. I felt Jesus. Like how I felt a touch of heaven, like there's no love like heaven's blood. You can feel. Yeah. You got quite an amazing, I guess you call it, gifts. Um, I don't know what else to say. This is so amazing. And you know, and uh, Abba may tell you what verse this is because he knows what I'm thinking right now. Abba, what is the uh, verse where Yeshua said, you think what I'm doing now is really something you wait till end times? Um, I can't remember where it is. No, no, it'd be either Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John. It'd be in the New Testament. And Jesus was saying, you think, all oh, this is cool. You just wait that y'all will be able to do more amazing stuff in the future. And this is proof of it. Things like Demetrius. I mean, Demetrius just got delivered. Things like you, you just got delivered. And look at these powerful and amazing gifts that you guys have. Now, I'm very happy with the blessings he's given me because not everybody can take on the enemy and and do this and i understand that you know because while i've got a very very huge heart i've got an unbelievable way of facing down uh things that most people are really scared of because i have so much trust in god and jesus i can't explain it i can just go lay down in the worst haunted house because i just know beyond any doubt that god and jesus are there i mean i just know they are and they always have been and so I know that that's a gift. I, I know that. I mean, not everybody can do that kind of thing, right? So, but but then you and Demetrius's thing, I mean, that's just so cool because y'all can just literally hear him talking to you. But in my head, I can't, you know, and, and that's okay. He made me that way. But my faith is, I wouldn't even call my faith faith. It's like, it's a knowing. My belief in them is like, it, it's a knowing. I know that. I mean, does that make any sense? I mean, there's a difference between knowing something and having faith in something. I, I know they're real. <laughs> I mean, period. That's. When was this? Father, do you want me to go down and meet Sherry? Do you want me to help her get get uh, going back or, or, or something? Or then is she supposed to be a part of our ministry in some way? Because, boy, that's a, quite a prophetic gift. So, if he lets you know, you just let me know. Um... But I, uh, I, just, I love you. You're my sister in Christ. And this was a very special thing that we, we experienced here today. I want to let you know that. Okay. Well, call me if you need me. Call me if you need me. And God bless you, my sister. I certainly will. Well, me too. I've already got a ministry going. I just didn't know if you were supposed to be somehow involved with this. Maybe I could come down and meet you. So you just be praying about it too. Who was that? Are you t Are you All right. 
Well, don't open the door. All right. Are you are you uh you you got the door locked, right? Well, let me let you the floor, and I'll start praying, and then you call. Father, I ask for angels to be dispatched and turn this man around right now. In the name of Jesus, Father, I call, Lord Jesus, if you will, the man at Sherry's door. Angels, if you would, please enter him now. Move him away, or run the demons out of him and move him away. I put pronounce peace over Sherry's home right now. The blood of Jesus is all over the home right now. Demon, you will go. You will turn. You will see that home in the blood of Jesus, and you will go now. Go in the name of Jesus. We're not playing. This isn't asking. Go. Demon inside the man at Sherry's house. Go in the name of Jesus. Go. Start walking away from the property now in the name of Jesus. Go. 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 Is he leaving, Sherry? Okay. Yeah, I know. Yeah, because it's the enemy. The same reason every time I start doing deliverance on something, my phone starts ringing and people start Skyping me and people start texting me. It's the enemy working through other people trying to disrupt what I'm doing. So that's the answer. So that's it. Trying to bring temptations towards you. You just keep praying and put the blood of Jesus. No, notice what I did. I immediately went to Jesus. I put the blood of Jesus over you. Then I immediately went against the man. I put it... Well, be careful. Yeah, be careful. See if he's leaving. He may have already left. We asked for the angel. Yeah. Okay. Well, you need to clear the line in case you need to call the police or something. You need to clear the line, hang up with me in case you need to call the police or something. So, let's hang up. Don't you agree? Okay, be careful. We'll talk later. Bye. Well, there you have it, folks. Pretty amazing thing that Sherry from South Georgia come out of my left leg now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah.